For Fibonacci extensions, what we are essentially looking out for here is target levels. So remember the Fibonacci retracement, we're all about finding entry points and we can use our Fibonacci extensions to find targets. And to identify Fibonacci extensions correctly, it's once again important to be able to identify swing highs and swing lows. So for example, if you guys take a look at this chart right here, we had a swing low down here and right here we printed a swing high. And one interesting thing you can already notice here is that the price seem to, you know, multiple times reverse at this key level. You can see here at the 0 0.786, the price pulled back. Then the price went up here to the one level. The one level is a very important level and we will talk more about that later on in this video. But you can see the price went up here to the one level and at this point we got multiple strong reactions. Then once again the price came down here and then it pushed all the way up here to the 1.618 and this 618 number is probably by now very familiar that number comes from the Fibonacci sequence we talked about earlier and this was the point the price reversed so now let's switch the attention and take a look at how do we draw up our Fibonacci extensions correctly what does the numbers mean and which levels here are the most important so now we're back here in trading view and to open up the Fibonacci extension tool um, now you want to head up here once again to where it says GAN and Fibonacci tools. You press on this button right here and now we want to choose the trend based Fib extension. So make sure that you choose this one right here and just as for the Fibonacci retracement, the very first thing we need to do here is that we need to identify our swing highs and swing lows or in other words we need to identify an impulsive move. So right here you can see that we have a swing low uh, once again if you want to uh, learn more about how to actually identify these points i highly recommend that you check out the market structure course i know i have been saying this multiple times but i really do uh, recommend that video but here we have a swing low the price pushes up here to our swing high what we then need to do make sure that you have the trend based fibonacci checked here and now we want to drag. Once again, you can do this in two different methods. You can either use from the candlestick wick to candlestick wick, or we can uh, use our points from the real body of the candle to the real body. And we talked, we have already been talking about this. So I will not go into detail, but in this case, we have to go from the swing low. We press on the swing low first time, then we press on the highest point of the swing high. But what we now need to do for, for the extensions here is that we now need to go down here to the swing low. We want this impulsive move, so the first swing low to swing high. If we copy this exact move and drag it from the low of the pullback, we want this move to go all the way up here to the one level. And the one level right here is a very common area for traders to take profits. When we measure the move, like we did, for example, right here and right here, this is something we called a measured move objective. And this is a very common method to take targets when you use, for example, chart patterns. And by the way, guys, if you want to learn more about chart patterns, I do have a full one hour long course about that. And I will make sure to leave a link to that course somewhere up in the corner in the eye. But okay, so now when we know how to draw our extensions, we can actually draw this one a little bit more to the right here. Now let's take a look at what these numbers actually mean. And so you guys can see more clearly here, I'm just quickly gonna change the settings, make the numbers a bit larger and press OK. So now just as for the retracement, these numbers right here are basically percentages. So for example, this number right here where it says 0 0.786 means 78.6%. This number right here means 61.8%. This part right here is 50% and so on and so on. But now these numbers actually tell us a slightly different thing compared to the retracement. So because of basic geometry that this move is the same length as this move, these numbers will basically tell us how close are we to the one number. Or in other words, how close are we to the 100% measured move objective. So for example, 0 0.786 means that the price have gone up 78.6% to the measured move objective. 
The one number here means that the price have gone up 100% or in other words, we have reached the measured move objective. But what about the higher numbers such as 1.618? Well, the same principle is true here. The 1.618 basically means that we have now surpassed the measured move objective by 61.8%. And this level right here is yet another common level for traders to take targets and many times we will see the price reverse at this level. This video was just a short clip from our full Fibonacci trading course. To watch the full video, simply click or tap on the screen right here. I hope to see you guys over there very soon. But for now, take care. Ciao, ciao.